everybody, Steph again. Um, in this video, I want to just quickly mention uh, WAMP server versus ZAMP. So in my beginner's PHP course, I talk about using WAMP or ZAMP to install uh, Apache PHP MySQL on your computer so that it's really you know, it's easy for you to, uh, to test and learn your PHP. Now, I want to point out two things. If you're having trouble with WAMP, if you're on Windows, and some people I hear may be having some trouble. Well, I, I had one complaint, so, but you never know. Um, I just want to point out, you can use ZAMP. ZAMP is a cross-platform. It's Windows, Linux, and Apple, and Mac compatible. I believe WAMP is uh, only Windows. I haven't checked in. Well, yeah, it seems to be only Windows. So wh whichever one you choose is fine. Uh, don't get too caught up with regards to installing WAMP or ZAMP in that uh, your, you as being a PHP pro programmer is not dependent on WAMP or ZAMP. And in fact, in my videos, I also mentioned if you already have web uh, hosting up and running for your simple testing, you could, you know, worst case scenario, you can just upload your PHP scripts to the host. Uh, although it's always better to test new code on your local machine so you don't screw up your web server. So there you go. WAMP and ZAMP are just convenience tools. They are not core to being a web, a, a, a PHP programmer, excuse me. Um, yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to point that, point that out. And uh, yeah, I just want to close off and mention that we have finally release the new studio web skin it's uh yeah it's up and running now it's uh pretty much complete we have some text issues we got to fix here and there but we got a new video player that's kind of cool and uh yeah we just cleaned up the layout so it's kind of you know 2014 ish in terms of the style and of course we use twitter bootstrap and i had mentioned in a previous video and you'll see that the current system is now totally responsive. Kind of cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So if you're learning PHP, don't get caught up on whether you're using WAMP or ZAMP. Install whichever one works easiest for you. Because at the end of the day, your role as a PHP developer will have very little to do with installing and configuring web servers. Um, that's you know something that uh, your hosting company will take care of. So I would worry too much about it. Just get it up and running so you can start learning PHP. That's it.